Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about how to create a hyperlink or link uh, between a blog post or page on your website to something else out on the internet. Now I'm doing this as a post in this case, but this uh, content completely applies to pages or uh, anything else you might be putting on your website. So what I've done here in this case is uh, I have found this article over here on the Getty Iris about uh, some new digitization uh, materials available through the Digital Public Library of America. And I think my patrons might want to know about that. So the first thing I did was I copied the first paragraph of this article here. And you'll notice here I made it a block quote. So I am quoting from that article. Um, I could add some additional text if I wanted to, but just trying to keep this nice and simple for our uh, example here. And then below that, because there is more information in that article that my patrons might want to read, I've, I've put here a read more at the Getty Iris. Now, I might have wanted to put a link uh, in, uh, in the middle of this paragraph. Um, a, you can put basically a hyperlink on anything. But in this case, what I want to hyperlink is these three words, the Getty Iris. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And you'll see what appears here is this insert edit link button. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. And now it's asking me for the destination URL. Now, the easiest thing you can do here, so you don't have to remember the URL or write it down, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my article. I'm going to highlight my URL. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to switch back over. And then I'm just going to do a paste right here. And that inserts the URL that I want to link to. Now you can also put in a title here. This is completely optional. A title allows some additional words to appear when you hover over the link. So just for an example here, I'm going to type click me uh, so you can see what that means. And then there is a checkbox here that says open link in a new window or tab. This means that if you check this, when people click on the link, that link will that page that you're linking to will open into a new tab or a new window um, which means they would then have to close that tab or window to get back to your website I generally recommend kind of just for good blogging etiquette that you do not check this option that way somebody can click on a link go to the article in question and then just click their back button to get back to your website. So I'm going to go ahead. I've pasted in my URL. I've put in a title, completely optional and usually not all that necessary. And I have not checked open link in new window or tab. I recommend you don't. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click click link or add link here. And you will see now that my three words are blue and underlined. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And then I'm going to go ahead and click View Post. And this will show me what the post looks like on my actual website. And you will see here, here is my title. Here is my quoted text. And here is my hyperlink, the Getty, Getty Iris. Now, one thing I'll say here real quickly, notice this is not blue and underlined. Colors of links are going to be controlled by your theme. The theme I am using in this example makes them gray. Your theme will probably make them another color. But you'll also notice here that we have the click me. That is the title that I put in there. And then if, as the user, I go ahead and click that, it will take me directly to that article in question. And then when they're all done reading it, they can go ahead and click back. So just to review real quick, to insert a, a URL on some text, just highlight the text that you want to be um, uh, linked. Click on the uh, Insert Edit Link button paste in the URL, or you can type it if you want to, and then click Add Link. Lastly, the thing I'm going to show you here before we wrap up is if you want to remove a hyperlink, let's say you know the um, uh, you put it in the wrong place, or if you want to edit a hyperlink because you maybe typed the URL wrong. Well, the first thing you can do to edit is you can just, in your editing mode here, I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And now you'll notice that Insert, Edit, and Remove are available. If I click Insert Edit, this will bring this back up. And I can say Remove the title. I can change this option. I can change the URL and then Update. And if I wanted to, if I really just did not want that link at all, I could go ahead and click the Remove Link button. And that will take the hyperlink off. If by any chance you did remove that accidentally, as long as you haven't done anything else, a Control Z will always do an undo. And there, that brings the link back. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.